The Bernina 570 has a built-in needle threader. So I want to give you a few tips to help you be successful every time you go to use the needle threader. Now I do hear times where people just ignore the needle threader, they give up without mastering it, and they're still putting the thread through the eye. And that can just be so time consuming. So I hope you'll take time to follow these steps to be a master of the needle threader and you'll never have to thread a needle again. Well, there are a few times where a needle threader won't actually go through the needle you've put in. So for example, if you have a needle that's much smaller than at like a 70 uh, in size, that size of eye is much too small. Sometimes I can get a needle threader to go through a size 70, but it is a little tight. So anything smaller than that, you'll need to actually thread yourself. Plus, if you have a twin needle in your machine, that's another time you'll have to thread the needle. So let's talk about a few things. Number one, make sure that your needle has been lifted as high as possible when you've tightened the screw on the side here. If the needle is not at the highest position, then of course, when you come down here, you're gonna notice that things do not line up. So the needle will be lower than the needle threader. So that's clue number one. And another reason to use your needle threader is so you don't accidentally have your needle not all the way in the machine. If the needle is down and you do activate the needle position, do notice that it does bring it to the highest position. So that is a nice little activation that they have incorporated to make sure that you're using it at the correct place. Next, you do notice that the presser foot does go down when you use your needle threader and that puts a little bit of resistance on the thread, making it even easier. So start by holding the thread in your right hand and with your left index finger, bring the needle threader just down part way. Next, bring the thread underneath that little kind of gray arm right here and then bring it back over to this side. Next, take the needle threader all the way down, but make sure you bring it all the way around the needle. That last little part is key because that's what's bringing the little hook through the eye. As you bring it all the way down, hold that, then take the thread on this side and bring it into the little groove and all the way back. So you don't have to hold the thread back here. I usually kind of click it in and then I lift up. So as I gently lift up, the thread has been placed in the little hook. Now, once I let go of this needle threader, I also need to let go of this thread because if I don't, it can't pull it through the eye of the needle. So right now I have a big long loop behind the needle that I can just pull out and then get ready to sew by sliding that underneath the presser foot. So let's do that one more time. So as I come down halfway, wrap it around the needle threader head, Bring it down all the way first before you put the thread in the little groove. Slide it all the way in and then gently up and then let go of the thread and it will pull it through. And again, if you have the embroidery module as part of the Bernina 570 collection here, by changing all those threads for embroidery work, you're gonna be greatly happy you took the time to master the needle threader. Now, you can make this not work. It can get bent. There's lots of things that can happen. I mean, it's so small to get through that little eye. So if you really feel like something is not working, have your local Bernina technician take a peek at it and make sure everything is lined up and they too can help you master your needle threader.